This is Jess, Wes and our daughter Izzy. After selling our house and most of our possessions at the end of 2021, we've packed up our Van Bevan to tour Australia. We are Life is Vanderful. This week, Jess and Isabel checked out Imaginaria whilst Wes and Grandpa went to the Moto GP. Then we all went as a family to Werribee Zoo. So it's seven o'clock in the morning and I'm here in Cranbourne uh, with, with my dad. Jess and Izzy still fast asleep. Uh, my dad has managed to acquire uh, two tickets to the Moto GP down at Phillip Island. So it's, it's Sunday morning here. And um, yeah, we're about to jump on a coach and get a shuttle service to Phillip Island to watch the MotoGP. So, really looking forward to this. Haven't done this since I was since I was a kid. Um, went to Phillip Island in 1989 and 1990 for the first two MotoGPs at Phillip Island, and now it's uh, some 30, 32 years later, and um, going again. So, really looking forward to it. So, it should be a good day out. just got here and it's gone nine o'clock and the Moto3 bikes are on track for warmer. We've been dropped off at gate three, which is diagonally opposite where our grandstand is, uh, down at turn two. So, um, gonna go for a bit, of a bit of a walk, grab a coffee, and yeah, plenty of time before the race has start. So we'll have a wander around and look at some of the displays and uh, maybe watch the warm up from here. And we've got grandstand seats. Uh, down at turn two at Duan Billion for the, for the races coming up. Uh, first race is at 11 for Moto3. Maybe something for Izzy. What an awesome day out here at the Australian Motorcycle Grand Prix at Phillip Island. It's been fantastic with the weather and we were greeted to a fantastic race. Um, lots of passes, lots of lead changes um, a lot, and a lot of it happening in front of us. Um, so it's really good to, to spend some time here with Dad and, um, and yeah, just have a great day out. And um, yeah, as I said, it's been 30, 30 something, 32 years since here last and did the same thing with Dad. So 
great to be able to come back here again and watch the watch the bikes go around Phillip Island. And I thoroughly recommend if you ever get the chance to come see MotoGP bikes live, you should do it. It's completely different to TV. You get a real sense of how fast they are. The approaching speeds are 350 kilometers here. So yeah, out of control, really cool. And thank you, Dad, for the tickets. Where are we today, Isabel? Nah. Have we come to the beach? No. No? Where did we come to? I don't know. Nah. No. Did we go to the pool? No. I go to the pool. Have we gone to the farm? No. No. Have we come to the city? Yes. Yes. What are we going to do at the city today? I can watch TV. TV? We're going to go to a place called Imaginaria. <gasps> Imaginaria! Oh, I think it's got lots of cool lights <gasps> and dark rooms. <gasps> and it's a mixture of art We're and sensory. Be scary in there. Oh, it might be scary in there. Might be the bear in there. There might be a bear in there. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so we drove into the city bus by ourselves without Daddy, didn't we? We, we came by ourselves. Uh, oh, it's okay because uh, Daddy is at the motorbikes with Grandpa today. <gasps> They're at the MotoGP. So we thought we'd have a girls' day out. Mom, and out. we're going to go out now. We found a park nice and easy, didn't we? Which was great. Mom, we were worried. And now we want to go. Okay, let's go check it out. Let's go. Yay! and I had a fantastic time at Imaginaria. She absolutely loved it. Um, we stayed in there a lot longer than most people, just doing loops, trying all the different displays again and again. Um, and then Iggy saw the trains and said she wanted to go on a train and she wanted to go to the city for a coffee. That actually was her words, not mine. Um, so we did line up for the tram for a while, but unfortunately the city circle wasn't running today and we weren't game enough to do a tram ride that wasn't a loop in case we got stuck and couldn't find our way back. So we had a nice girls coffee at Docklands instead and we'll do the tram and the city another day maybe when we're visiting grandma and grandpa. Not something we normally like to do but um, Iggy was actually easier to manage than I thought and she really en enjoyed the surroundings so yeah next time we might do a little city adventure. So off to grandma and grandpa's now to get some rest because tomorrow we have another big day ahead of us. Today is our last day trip through the. Oh, the day, where the, blah, 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 our last day trip. Oh, wanted to take somewhere. <coughs> Today is our last day trip in Melbourne, and Wes's parents, Grandma and Grandpa, wanted to take Isabel somewhere very special to them. But we'll let you. We'll let them tell you <laughs> exactly where that is. Isabel, we've come somewhere very special to them. Do you know what this place is called? It's a zoo full of African animals. <gasps> <laughs>
So we're a little bit annoyed. Um, we're here at Werribee Zoo and we, you book online to come here. So you pay for it all online before you get here, that's from their policies. Uh, and it said some stuff was shut, they didn't say what stuff was shut, but all the big ticket items are shut due to the floods. So the floods um, that we've mentioned previously in this area have um, devastated a lot of things <laughs> and they've, they've impacted going and seeing the, um, what is it, the rhinos, giraffes and zebras. So they're the three key things that Izzy loves. They're the three animals she loves the most. Um, and we're all grandma and grandpa and mum and dad were excited to take her to go see those animals so we went on the tour just now on the safari tour but it doesn't include any zebras giraffes or rhinos and no other things as I said Izzy wanted to really see um, so we don't really mind we were going to come here anyway um, it's just we would have come here a different day when those things were available so it would have been nice to know before we got here so we'll see if we can come back again maybe a bit later um, so is you can see all those animals in the wild and not behind a glass glass cage or glass window so there's still other animals here and we're gonna go see some more now um, but she doesn't know she doesn't mind she doesn't know anything any different um, but yeah it'd be good to good to come back and hang let us see those animals and I am waffling on way too long so let's go see some animals now this must be faulty because there's no cheetahs. Oh, oh wow, she got them pretty quickly. Oh my goodness. I thought that would take longer. Wow. Oh, the snake. Where's the snack gone in the bag? All safe. The lady's going to take it to a new home. No, we it's don't want the snake there because the snake is not good for the cheetah. Yay. Now the cheetahs can yeah, come back. Now out. do it with the cheetah. <laughs> <laughs>